guys, it's Denise here and welcome to my channel NOLA Collectibles. I'm here today to do a thrift store haul. It has definitely been a minute since I've done one of these and I'm super excited. I've actually, I've tried to, I've tried to try to save money and not go to the thrift store as often, but you know, you all know how that ends. So you go a little hog wild when you finally do get over there. So I'm really excited to kind of share some of my items that I picked up with you guys. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Denise Nola Collectibles. I'm a part-time reseller. I sell primarily on eBay. My shop name there is also Nola Collectibles. And I am a jewelry enthusiast. I love collecting jewelry. I love learning about jewelry and I love sharing my jewelry items with you guys. So thread up unboxings, Goodwill unboxings, shop Goodwill unboxings, thrift store hauls, vintage and antique mall hauls, all of that good stuff. So let us not waste any time and get directly into it. I'm gonna share some of the items that I picked up for with you guys um, this morning actually. I went out bright and early. I'd like to go when the store opens, so I was fourth in line today. So that was very exciting. Not that many people showed up. It's also super hot and humid down here in New Orleans. We seem to have skipped spring and went straight to summer. So it was like 84, ugh. Anyway, the first item I picked up here I thought was very interesting. And I, I, I sometimes sound like a broken record when I tell you guys this. There's an area in my thrift store where they have all the jewelry on pegs. And then there's an area where, where they keep everything behind the counter. So. I tend to go straight for like the pegboard jewelry that's out amongst everything else. I check all of that out because I've found some amazing goodies like David Yerman there previously. So I always go, I do not ignore it. I always go and check it out. And so one of the items there that I found was this beautiful enamel and this is kind of like a maritime or nautical flag bracelet. And I, th I just thought this was so super cool and unique and it was marked for $2.99. And what's cool about these bracelets is these nautical flags, they're like, they're internationally known for their meaning. So, you know, international waters. And so each one of these has their own meaning. So back in World War II era, people used to like kind of give these a sweetheart bracelets and their meaning would correspond to whatever they wanted to tell their sweetheart. So they go to World War II era. They also go before that. They even predate that. You can find these like Victorian era kind of maritime nautical flag bracelets. So this one you can see here was marked for $2.99. I think it's super cool. I have never seen anything like this. The enamel is in very good condition. A little bit of scratching here on this one. And like I said, each of these little flags represents either a letter or a sentiment. Um, so I know this one here, this one kind of, represents like this one is affirmative charlie this one um, means dropping anchor so open to interpretation in some regards but <laughs> uh, like i said an international kind of meaning with these international waters i think super cool and these tend to they sell for a decent amount of money i've seen them going all the way up to you know there's one that sold on Ruby Lane for $850. So I definitely picked this guy up. Just different, not something I see every day. I loved it. So cool. I love the style of it. I think it's a great looking bracelet. So I picked that guy up. What else? Where should I go from there? Let's stick with kind of the World War II era, right? Where here we might as well, you know, with sweetheart bracelets. I picked these guys up and I thought that these were so cool because they have the original tags on them. They almost look like showroom samples. Uh, on the back here, you can see maybe there's some kind of inventory note there. It says 224 Zoe, and it says Pittman and Keeler. Pittman and Keeler is the maker of these sweetheart bracelets, these expansion American Queen sweetheart bracelets. And this again, like I said, another kind of World War II era type of piece of jewelry that soldiers would give these to their sweethearts as they were departing um, for war. So there was actually two of these and like, look at the condition that these guys are in. And again, with the original tags, so cool. This one has like a slightly larger heart and you can see here they, you know, they really do expand and just in beautiful condition. They have the hallmarks on the inside there. And so there was two sweetheart bracelets here. Um, like, like I said, American Queen and Pittman and Keeler the maker of these bracelets in business uh, since the turn of the century, about 1900 through the 19, late 1950s. And just beautiful condition there. I wanna say I might have I paid, I think 2.99 for each of these. I don't know why the tag isn't on them. Uh, yeah, but these are just gorgeous and, and just pristine, pristine condition. 
absolutely wonderful a piece of history right there in excellent condition and with the original tags so like i said i think that those may have come from they look like jewelry floor samples the way that they're marked so that's definitely a, um, a possibility there just really cool i also picked up here this beautiful whiting and davis cuff wide cuff hinged bracelet i love this uh, i don't tend to see a lot of whiting and davis this is just a beautiful example. I love the very kind of large repoussé flowers and design on this. Absolutely stunning and excellent condition. This one was marked for $3.99 and I just love it. I love that it's very like wide. I love the design componentry of it. It definitely has a little bit of a Victorian sensibility to it and gorgeous for, for $4.00. Of course I'm gonna pick that up. I do think that there's a possibility maybe that this guy is missing a safety chain. You can see there it has the little safety chain posts right there on the edge. I don't think that, I mean, that doesn't bother me, but I do think this is just an absolutely gorgeous bracelet by Whiting and Davis. I was shocked when I saw this. This one was on the rack and it has the Whiting and Davis insignia right there on the inside of the bracelet there so you can see it. yeah you can kind of see it there it is yep so really fabulous beautiful piece of jewelry i love that don't come across whining and davis that often where am i going to go from here should i stick with the oldies or should we go to some newy newy goodies um sure let's do a newy goodie why not this one is a <laughs> this is a big rhinestone j crew bracelet this one was half price so i paid two dollars and fifty cents for it and it just has a really large kind of rhinestone prong set nice peachy pink colored rhinestones really beautiful from j crew and it has the fold over clasped there and on the inside it is marked j crew so i don't know if you guys know this there is this type of j crew jewelry it's called brulee jewelry and it's these oversized rhinestones, similar in size to these, but they're kind of set in like a cup setting. And I want you to go and like Google these or like look them up on eBay because they sell for like hundreds of dollars. It's so bizarre. I think it was, it just happened to be like a moment in time of J. Crew manufacturing jewelry and they're very high in demand. So yeah, just like look up J. Crew Brulee jewelry and be on the look, look out for it. Like I said, it's very distinct kind of large rhinestone set in this like weird cup setting, but it sells very, very high and is in a lot of demand. But this one, uh, this one's definitely half price at $2.50, stumbling on my words. I just think it's pretty and it's nicely made, typical J. Crew, good quality, nice. This is great for like a little stack. So pretty, I love the pink color. This would look pretty with my pastels right now since we're like heading into Easter. Let's see. I love the oversized rhinestone, I really do. So, and the coloration is so pretty, very feminine. Very nice. That's a pretty bracelet. So yeah, I picked up that guy too. I do tend to find some decent J. Crew jewelry occasionally in my thrift store. Okay, well, so let's stick with maybe a modern, a more modern piece of jewelry. I found this piece of jewelry in the case, and this one, this is a, a local kind of piece of jewelry here. You can see it has a fleur-de-lis in a heart there, and it says, I know what it means to miss New Orleans. And on the back, this one was, I actually, I think I did pay full price for this, $5.99. You can see it's marked sterling on the back, and it's also marked made in Louisiana, Katrina, 2005, Ann Dale. So Ann Dale is a local jeweler. You can see her signature right there on the back. And this was meant to be a commemorative item from Hurricane Katrina. It's marked 2005 there. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be honest with you. I just saw this and I saw the front of it and I'm like, this is a really cute kind of like New Orleans item. I didn't even notice the fact that, I didn't even look. I didn't look at the back. I mean, it's $6. I was like, yeah, it's cute. It'll resell. It's New Orleans, like whatever. I didn't look at the back. So I looked this up and Ann Dale is an active jeweler here in New well, She's not in New Orleans. She's on the North Shore. She's in Mandeville, which is across Lake Pontchartrain. So it's about 50 miles 
um, away from New Orleans, but she currently sells this for $160. She does this not only in sterling silver, but also in 14 karat gold. So for, I think for $5.99, I think that, that that something that sells at retail for $160, I think that was a great pickup. And I think this will be a very good item for maybe Facebook Marketplace. I don't know. I'm going to see what I'm going to do about that because I have amassed a good deal of New Orleans specific type of jewelry by some of the jewelers that are more well known in this area. So I have to figure out what I'm gonna do there. Um, I'm gonna go right here. I picked up this bracelet here and you can see this is marked 299 and this is by Moresca. And it's a beautiful enamel kind of, I don't know, what would you call this? Maybe like a shrimp style bracelet and it's got the beautiful kind of like texture to it. it almost gives me like sea ver I don't know sea oceany type of vibes uh like I said it gives me that shrimp kind of looks like shrimp earrings you know that design that looks like a shrimp and Moresca um not that old a brand that came out of the 80s but uh, a brand from New York City but definitely a little bit older <clears throat> I'm sorry a little bit more high-end and this guy if you look up Moresca enamel bracelets they sell for like I'd say between 50 and 125 dollars so this guy was 2.99 and it was on the rack and I just I love the look of it I loved it it's a hinged bracelet <clears throat> and very pretty I think it actually looks older than it is like to me it looks kind of 60s but yeah this guy this brand is from the 80s. I need to do more research on this brand because I want to see if it has been around longer than just the 80s. It was difficult to find information about it, but I did find quite a few comps and they were selling for very good money. So uh, I thought that was nice. I just was attracted to the design of it. So I picked that guy up. Let's see, where should we go from here? I'm going to go right here. Uh, this was in the case and this was marked MMA signer and this was $3.99. I think it might have been half price. I think I'm fairly certain this one was half price of so $2. And uh, MMA, Metropolitan Museum of Art, they produce quite a bit of reproduction signer pieces and this one is one of them. And these reproduction signer pieces, they actually sell for quite a bit of money and you can find depending on the design you can see right there it says MMA signer depending on the design some of these go up to $200 so for 200 uh, for 200 for two dollars I thought this was a great pickup I love the beautiful pink pastel enamel work on it I think it's just a really pretty design this would be fabulous for Easter just to put this onto you like your your Easter hat I don't know if you have an Easter hat I mean this is New Orleans we wear like ridiculous clothing for everything. <laughs> I have many Easter fascinators. I think this would be very cute. I have Easter hats too. I think this would be very cute on an Easter hat, but it's a gorgeous design and it was in excellent condition. So for that amount of money, I definitely picked that guy up. So cute. I'm gonna go right here. This is an absolute steal. This is two pieces of jewelry here and you can see it's the abalone shell. And I looked at this, this one was uh, $5.99 I believe it's half price $3 and <clears throat> it's marked LUC and LUC is a brand Lucorial was sold uh, Lucas Lameth sold on Home Shopping Network I believe could have been QVC I was you know I was confused my shopping network it was a Home Shopping Network brand and the fact that this had the bracelet and the matching earrings for uh, you know, $3 was an absolute steal. And I could see why they would confuse this and not think that this was like worth a, a decent amount of money. It doesn't, it doesn't really look like it would be, but it, yeah, everything here is sterling silver. It's really nicely made. And um, this was, <clears throat> like I said, sold on the home shopping networks. Really, really great. And this tends to sell okay for me, this brand, just because I think there is a association of good quality with this company. And uh, yeah really nice so I picked that guy up it was really just a steal and so I added that to my pile where else uh, let's go modern this one this is a Lauren Ralph Lauren necklace here two-tone gold and silver and I love that it has this really big oversized toggle clasp here and it has the Lauren Ralph Lauren signature there this one was $3.99. Lauren Ralph Lauren for me has been selling extremely well lately. I am seeing a lot of interest in this brand from international buyers. 
and as soon as I put them up, they sell immediately. Like I've had two of the same double strand faux pearl necklaces recently that I've gotten out of jewelry bags and they sold in a few days, I wanna say. So I picked this guy up for $4. I think it's nice. Two-tone metal, always very versatile. Great, you know, people who like silver, people who like gold tone. I think great across the board. Very chic design, very modern. I like that, so I picked that guy up. I'll put that right there. And my cat has come over and decided to sit right on top of my jewelry. <laughs> Sorry. It's, it doesn't look very comfortable, but he seems to be okay. <laughs> um, I'm going to go here. I thought these were super cool. And the white color, like I said, was half price. So these were marked $7.99, and I got them for half price. I'm just going to take them off the paper because I just was very attracted to the design of these. And they were marked sterling <clears throat> and i like them because they have this very like modernist aesthetic to them i'll show them to you right here and you will have to excuse all of my scars <laughs> i've been doing gardening work i had a massive garage sale last week it was very successful which is why i didn't post last week i sold over 250 pieces of jewelry both Saturday and Sunday and you know what it wasn't that much work but <laughs> and the weather was really pretty so uh yeah but you know I also did gardening work because fall in Louisiana seems to happen twice a year <laughs> the leaves from the oak trees they fall in the fall and then they fall again in the spring which is really really fun trust me you guys I really love cleaning up massive amounts of oak leaves twice a year um yeah but anyway um so these like I thought they were super super cool and you can see they, they are very modernist and they were marked sterling on the back. And I did a little research on those and I do think these are bow sterling. <clears throat> uh, bow made these earrings, this design. They also made a matching brooch. So I think super cool on those. I enjoy them very much. Very cool design for $4. Yeah, that was a yes for me. So I'll put those right there. I love them. I think they're super cool else maybe let's stick with sterling for now i got this little dude right here this one was two dollars and fifty cents and i feel like you probably may have seen this this is, was a very popular design in the 80s this kind of like free form swirl modernist motif and in brooch form and this one was just marked thailand 925 sterling so this is just a sterling silver kind of modernist 80s contemporary design style brooch and i still like this for $2.50, I will tell you, you know, certain sterling silver pieces, they are not fast movers on the resale market or on eBay. They tend to sit a little bit longer, but you find someone who's looking for this design and, you know, then you make that sale and it makes it worth it. So, you know, again, $2.50, that to me was worth it. Very, very nice. I added that guy to my pile. Got this little dude, so cute. $4.99, half price, so $2.50. And this is just a little Texas, state of Texas cutout right there. And so adorable. It has all of the states there, uh, all the states, all the cities, San Antonio and Austin and Dallas. And it has a little pennant there that says San Antonio, Texas. I just thought this was a really cute little charm. Texas stuff for me it tends to sell well. Any kind of like state memorabilia, type of jewelry always sells well for me there's always people that pride and where they're from and they want to wear jewelry that shows where they're from so two dollars and fifty cents on that guy i picked that up so cute where else i got this dude right here this one also two dollars and fifty cents and this was i always shop by color you guys i feel like i've said this in the past I want to, you know, today there was a ton of stuff. Every color was pretty much marked 50% off. So I always look for the pieces that are left over that I can save extra money on and get them even cheaper. So my cost of goods is lower. Always a win, like I said, in my opinion. Pick that guy up. And that is, uh, you know, in the 80s, there was this kind of revival of Victorian motif jewelry with marcasites and onyx. And I'm expecting this to be that 80s kind of style, but, it, you know, intact, beautiful, no marcasites missing, lovely little onyx piece. And this is like a very sizable, like a decent size, $2.50. It is marked 925. So I picked up that little pendant right there. That's nice. We'll put that one right there. More sterling silver. 
I got these little dudes right here. I think they're so cute and they gave me Mignon Faget vibes. Mignon Faget, I think I've talked about this with you guys previously. Mignon Faget is a fine jeweler that's based here in New Orleans and they make sterling silver jewelry and um, gemstone jewelry, fine jewelry, gold, silver, that type of thing. This definitely gave me Mignon Faget vibes. Mignon Faget, I know they did a collection of what they call like snow, you know, snow cone jewelry. Snow cones are like snowballs they're like new orleans's version of a snowball but the ice is shaved even finer they have a i think they have like a copyright or a trademark on the machine from the turn of the century that makes snowballs so they're very like proprietary about snowballs here and they're very proud so i think that these are probably like snowballs not snow cones but i think they're super cute and they look like sterling silver and i haven't had a chance to look at this closer and see if there's any kind of hallmark on it but i just thought so cute $3.99. I love the green. And again, they gave me very much like Mignon Faget vibes. So it sells very well. <clears throat> Mignon Faget has a high retail value. It sells pretty expensively. So when I see it at thrift stores or estate sales here, I always pick it up. Always. What else? I thought this was beautiful. This was on the shelf. And you can see here gold tone with these beautiful kind of a dogwood blossoms here and I love the look of this it has this beautiful hook here with a little like leaf dangle and on the back this one was two dollars and fifty cents on the back it is signed Louis Ferraud Paris if you could see that right there and Louis Ferraud was a fashion house Firstly, in the 1950s, then made their foray into accessories. And um, people like Elizabeth Taylor wore Louis Ferrard, very, very famous. And so this style, I have seen this quite a bit. I did a little bit of research on it on the secondary market. I've seen it going anywhere between $50 and about $125. So it needs a little bit of a cleanup, which I'm going to do. I'm just going to clean up the leaves so that they look a little bit more pristine. They have a little bit of you know dirt on them right there but overall besides that in fantastic condition and so beautiful I love the dogwood design I love the black enameling there in the middle and the gold tone is just beautiful very minimal to nowhere on the gold tone there so I think this is fabulous I love it it was two dollars and fifty cents it's a signed piece of jewelry and it was on the rack at my thrift store so <laughs> yes I picked that one up so what do we have left? I have a couple of pieces here. I'm trying to figure out where to go next. This was very exciting. This was in the case and this was marked $4.99 and on the back it does say sterling and it has an, a hallmark. So when silver is marked sterling and not 925, it tells me that the sterling is a little bit, the silver is a little bit older. And so it looks like it has just very beautiful baguette garnets there as well. Let me see if I could take the sticker off. I don't think it's super, like super, super, super old because the, the pin and the rollover clasp is not, you know, it's not, it's more modern, but, um, I would love to know if I could maybe do some more research on this to see kind of figure out that hallmark. You see right there, it says sterling, but this is so beautiful. This one just art deco vibes all day long. I love the beautiful garnets there. I thought this was a stunning piece of jewelry. I think. Like it looks like maybe possibly rhodium plated because it's so shiny and beautiful, but just a stunning piece of jewelry for $4.99. So, and it always amazes me, the jewelry that I find that's still there that people look over. I saw this, I got so excited. Just a beautiful piece of jewelry. I love it so much. I'm going to have to test that just to see if they are in fact garnets or if they might be glass. But that was gorgeous. Beautiful find. Very excited about that. I also got these really pretty sterling silver filigree stick earrings here. And so you can see, I could just, I just thought these are very unique. You can see they're just kind of like filigree and hollow. I just thought different. These were marked $5.99. I love the way they look. They definitely give you that, I don't know if this is Edwardian kind of vibe. I don't think they are, but they definitely give you kind of that vibe like, the swirls, that boudoir, like what you see in like boudoir sets, like powder sets and perfume sets, that swirled kind of sterling silver look to them. So 
for $5.99. I definitely, I picked those guys up. What else? A couple of pieces left, folks. So exciting. I didn't know what I was going to find. I never know what's going to go on at my thrift store. It could be nothing. It could be everything. But I'll tell you, I rarely leave empty. I never leave empty handed. I always find something there. Um, always something that surprises me. So for $4.99, also on the rack, I found this beautiful sterling silver necklace here. And again, this just has marcasites and a very pretty leaf motif. I can't believe that this was on the rack. Like, and people don't see that this is sterling silver. It has the double safety clasp there. On the back, it is marked, there's an R and it is marked 925. So you can see that right there. I'm fairly certain that this one was also 50% off. So not even $4.99, the $2.50. Just a very pretty organic looking sterling silver and marcasite floral motif necklace. Very delicate, very pretty, just so lovely. So I got that guy as well. And a couple pieces left. I have this little sterling silver hand hammer, hand hammer. They look to be hand hammered style pair of earrings here. These guys were $4.99 or possibly half price. I just like those a whole lot. I like the hand hammered style detail. And then these, these are also sterling silver. These were $2 and kind of a faux turquoise. I believe these are from Mexico. If you've ever gotten jewelry like this, they make this, uh, what would I call this? Um, bezel set. This bezel set kind of style. They've done this in bracelets. They've done this in earrings. They will do it in rings. I will give you a little bit of a caution here with this type of jewelry. This stuff on top usually is fake. So, <laughs> and I know because it's come apart on me. So there will be almost like a plastic kind of shell that they just put on top of a, d a dome of sterling silver and it's, and you feel it, it's not cold. It's not cold to the touch, so it's definitely not stone. So yeah, just be aware of that. It doesn't impact its value all that much. You know, people just really shop it because they like the look and they like that it's Mexican silver, which, you know, that it is too. And I would also say, you know, of course, always test your sterling silver because there has been fake sterling silver that comes out of China for fake sterling silver that comes out of Mexico. Um, quite a few countries where you will find fake sterling silver. And you just want to be honest and test everything that you're selling just so that you're not misrepresenting anything on the secondary market. Um, you know, you don't want to be zinged for something that's misrepresented. Uh, I've also purchased fake sterling silver, you know, on Macari. Someone, you know, labeled it as sterling and I got it and I was like, mm, this looks a little questionable and I tested it and it was not real sterling silver. So yeah, just be aware of that. You know, when you're familiar with stuff and you start to see it, you, you recognize it and you know what to look for. And so, yeah, that's really everything you guys. I think this was like just such a beautiful mix of jewelry as per usual from my local thrift store, some modern goodies, some fabulous vintage goodies stuff. I just, I never know what to expect. I never know what I'm going to get there, but I'm always surprised and delighted and I'm happy to share it with you. So let me know what you think. Let me know what your favorite pieces are, or, you know, if you happen to know anything more about any of these pieces, leave it in the comments. I know you will. And so I appreciate you being there and I hope you have a fabulous weekend. Give me a like on the way out, you guys, and I'll see you at the next one. Bye.